Hey everyone, okay, so in this video, let's talk about some Disney California Adventure. Now, there's been an ongoing criticism from the fan community that Disney is abandoning the California part or the California theme of California Adventure. I'm here to say that's hogwash. It's absolutely hogwash and I'll tell you why. I don't think that Disney is abandoning the California theme. But what they are doing is actually taking it at a different approach. Okay, when when California Adventure first opened, the approach was more of a realistic interpretation of the state. So when you walk in, everything was like, okay, here's what a real pier on California in California would look like, you know, and and, and here's what the real, you know, Redwoods area looks like and it was trying to recreate areas of california in a realistic manner and i appreciate and i respect that approach i think it's cool but i think that approach was doomed to fail it was dead on arrival you're never gonna be able to compete with the real thing you're never gonna be able to create a pier that competes with the real pacific ocean it's a losing battle so smartly, Disney, what they did was they decided to basically kind of like alter its approach. So instead of California trying to recreate parts of California in a park, what they did was they took elements of California, the pier, you know, the Oceanside, Hollywood, you know, LA, um, you know, Route 66. They took those elements, but they, they gave you an experience seen through like Disney colored glasses, Disney rose colored glasses. So yeah, now you get the experience of Route 66, right? Which is very California. But the caveat is it's the Disneyized version of Route 66. It's the Cars Land version of that California experience. Same goes for the pier, which is now Pixar Pier. The pier, seaside piers are a staple in California lifestyle, in California history, right? Piers litter the, 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 the whole West Coast. So what Disney decided to do was, okay, piers are very California. There's a pier, but it's again seen through Disney colored glasses. It's a pier that's themed to a Disney franchise. It's a pier that's themed to Pixar. Okay, they do this over and over again now with all their lands. And Hollywood will be the same thing. It kind of already is, but it's essentially Hollywood as seen through Disney color glasses with all the with all the Disney properties and what have you. It's not a real interpretation of Hollywood. Even Buena Vista Street, even Buena Vista Street is the same thing. It's Los Angeles as seen through Disney color glasses, through Walt Disney, his nine old men, Disney history with the Carthay Circle. So that's the approach. The park has not abandoned California. They've just taken the California theme and they've approached it at a different angle. You know, the way I see it, it's sort of similar to Disney's Hollywood Studios, right? The theme for Hollywood Studios was more about movie magic, behind the scenes, celebrating Hollywood, right? Now, they're kind of shifting the, the approach. It's still about Hollywood, but instead of movie making and, and, and movie magic and all that good stuff, it's more about experiencing the environment that Hollywood has created. So now, instead of seeing how they made Toy Story, you're gonna experience Toy Story. Right? Instead of seeing how they made Star Wars, you're going to experience Star Wars. It's still Hollywood, two very, very different approaches. And that's how I see California Adventure. It's California, you're just seeing the Disney version of California. Okay, So those are my thoughts. I, this is a, an ongoing complaint with the fan community. I see it a lot. Disney is abandoning California. It's not. It's not abandoning California. And even the recent rumor that I reported on in a, in a recent video about Marvel Land shows they're not abandoning the California theme. You know, it's just that they're refocusing how they approach it. That's all they're doing. That's all they're doing. But what are you guys' thoughts on this? What do you guys think about my 
concept or the way I see California Adventures theme. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I love to hear from you guys. Comment below. I do content. If you're new to the channel, I do content on Disney Parks, Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, all of it, <laughs> all the time. If you're on Twitter, follow me at OrangeGrow55. Thank you so much for watching and have an adventurous day.